For the past several weeks, we have been reading from John's Gospel. And one of the recurring themes has been the topic of love. God's love for us, our love for God, and our love for each other. The presence or absence of love is certainly a life-altering condition. It affects the way we treat others and how others treat us. Love can also influence our outlook on life itself, whether it is love of God, a love of family and friends. You see, love gives us hope. Hope for today and hope for the future. Three pillars of life could be life, could be faith, hope, and love. When I'm asked to preside at a wedding ceremony, I, I try to focus on, on two issues when I address the couple in my homily. I stress the importance of faith and love in their marriage. I try to explain to them that, that as we mature and cultivate friendships and relationships, we come to learn that love is more than a warm and fuzzy feeling. More than romance, real love requires sensitivity. It requires thoughtfulness. It requires shared values. And I go on to explain that those attributes are the easy part because true love also requires forgiveness and the ability to accept people where they are, not where we like them to be. True love requires compromise and mutual consideration. You see, love requires an enormous investment in time and energy. And here is the really hard part. Love makes us incredibly vulnerable. Vulnerable beyond our wildest dreams. In St. John's Gospel, we are constantly reminded that Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice because of his love for all mankind. He suffered and died for you and for me. The ultimate sacrifice, to be sure. His vulnerability was and is quite apparent. We should be reminded of this every time we look at the cross. As followers of Jesus, we are called to make sacrifices in order to live the gospel message. Sacrifices that enable us to reach out to others, especially those in need, those on the margin. And we can bring faith, hope, and love into the lives of others in many different ways. We can give generously of our time, talent, or treasure to help those less fortunate. And here at Christ the King, we don't have to look very far to see faith and love in an action. Our dedicated St. Vincent Paul, Paul volunteers feed almost 100 families every week. 100 families every week. And these are people from Man Ashby, Marston Mills, and to it. Our needy volunteers minister to the basic needs of individuals and families who have fallen on hard times. Our thrift shop makes quality clothing of available reasonable prices. Truly, truly, faith and love in action. 
In today's gospel, Jesus prays for his followers to have the same unity with each other as he has with the Father. And so it should be with us as modern day followers. As followers of Christ, we are called to bring faith, hope, and love to all those we can come in contact with in our daily lives and in living. I am not suggesting that this is easy, because it isn't. Loving, serving others takes us out of our comfort zone. But if we are willing to take the time to recognize the goodness in needs in every one of our brothers and sisters, we can experience the joy that comes by recognizing the risen Christ right here in our midst. So though the choice is ours to answer the call and live the gospel message or to, to ignore it.